kids. I just finished eating breakfast. I had a very light breakfast. I had Greek yogurt, strawberry Greek yogurt Chobani with blueberries. And I ate a very light breakfast because I'm actually going to IHOP and I'm going to the Museum of Feelings later today. I should probably get ready. <sighs> it's going to be an exciting day. Hopefully it's not too cold outside. Um, I'm going to try to vlog as much as possible if I don't forget, um, and if my phone is fully charged as well, so, yeah, I will talk to you guys probably either when I'm at IHOP, um, I'll show you guys what I'm eating, I'm really excited just because I'm actually craving pancakes now, so I'm excited to go, I thought I wasn't going to be able to go, but I can go now, because... I think my mom will be back early. I haven't texted her, but Alex is fine with me just leaving him. He said that if he gets hungry, he'll just make himself another fruit salad because that's what he had for breakfast. My little brother, Alex, he had a fruit salad. I made him a fruit salad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to go and get ready. I'm actually going to put makeup on my face. I haven't worn makeup in so long. <sighs> I'm actually glad to be going out, so I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I'm back just because I wanted to show you guys my makeup of the day. Um, I actually decided to do my makeup. Um, what's on my face? Um, let's see if I can find the products. That'd be freaking amazing. Um, don't mind the background. It's a huge mess. Okay, so let's find it. Okay, so for my face, I decided to mix two foundations, which I never actually do. Um, I'm using the e.l.f. The e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. Um, this has SPF 20, so I'm not sure if I like it. It's a bit too dark for my face, which is why I mix it with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And I actually didn't use a beauty blender this time, which was kind of weird for me. I used an actual um, brush. I used the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. It's like this. My hair's on it. Um, yeah, but before, um, I do this daily routine, which I just sort of, I, I don't know which way to look, um, in which I just use my SK2 products, and then I always, always have to use, um, where is it? So, I always have to use my L'Oreal, um, Youth Code, um, Moisturizer. Um, this is a dark spot corrector. I bought it mainly because it was the only... Um, drugstore moisturizer that had SPF 30 and that's what I actually really needed so that's why um, that's what I put on my face and it's actually really thick so you only need a little bit and it actually makes my skin very um, shiny which I don't actually like but I realized that if I put on a matte foundation it's perfect um, it's fine and then um, for my blush I feel like I overdid my blush today but that's because I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette and I actually like really like this it's so cheap it's very affordable um, it's six bucks for for basically four blushes and I used the bottom left um, yes left color so that one right there so I use that and they're very pigmented so what I had to do was because I put too much I had to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 hour powder so this is a finishing powder so I put that a little bit over my blush and then for my under eyes because I've been getting some you know dark circles I've been using my L'Oreal True Match corrector right yes corrector so I've just been using this and this is a cool tone which doesn't really work for me I feel like I need like a more brighter one but I wasn't really trying to like brighten up my face or anything so that's fine for my lips I actually have on this one which I'm not really sure if I actually like just because I know that some liquid lipsticks can give you like a butthole um mouth kind of thing but I'm using the what is this the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick and this is right here I'm not actually sure if I like it just because it, it is sticky it's very sticky um if you guys can see that so this is actually in the color Br Brilliant Bourgeois 040 
I have to put this in my bag just because I haven't actually warned us to go out and eat. And since I am going to IHOP, I'm not really sure how this will work out. So if my liquid lipstick does come off, I, I need something to put on top of it again. If not, then I'll have some crusty ass looking lips. And for my mascara, I have on this, I believe this is L'Oreal. I don't know. Yes, L'Oreal, this is their new volumin Voluminous Superstar Waterproof Mascara, and that's what I always use. I only use waterproof mascara just because I'm so um, insecure about, like, my mascara running and then, like, like black streaks on my face. So, and then for my eyebrows, I really need to do my eyebrows, which is why I'm not happy with them right now, but I use this little brow... Um, brush by Bodyology that I got in my BoxyCharm when, when I was subscribed to BoxyCharm. And for my actual powder, I use the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder, and this is just in the color black slash gray. And to sort of just um, prevent my concealer from creasing, um, I haven't used this in a while just because I'm not sure if I actually really like it, but I use this Be A Bombshell Smooth Criminal Powder, so that's hope that if we do take pictures with my friends today that it's not with flash because sometimes that can like give me a white cast and I hate that so much so um yeah and then I have some highlighter on which I've been loving I love putting on highlighter guys um it's just one thing that I always always have to do and I've been using my chocolate bar Too Faced I still need to do my nails but whatever um I've just been using this color right here it's the little that one right there it's very shimmery I'm not sure what it's called just because these old chocolate bar palettes they don't have the names on it um, it comes with a um, plastic cover which I don't even know where that is I probably threw that out already so that's what I have on what else I didn't do any eyeshadow on just because I, I don't I don't have time for that and oh and I set everything in with my Urban Decay D Slick makeup setting spray and this is specifically for oil control I'm not I don't really think that this works wonders for my skin um, I've been meaning to try out the Scandinavia one which is kind of silly to me because it's by Urban Decay Scandinavia products are by are made by um, Urban Decay so I'm not really sure if it's like the same thing or not but yeah and then I am also going to be wearing my glasses throughout the day just because if I'm going to a museum, I want to be able to like see things and not just squint all the time. So I'll be wearing my glasses throughout the day. So if you guys see me just vlogging with my glasses, it's still me. Um, I may look different, but that's okay. Um, and uh, oh, and to keep my eyebrows in place, I used my CoverGirl Clear Mascara. It's kind of dirty. I kind of have to buy a new one. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all that I did for my face. I know it may seem like a lot, but I really, really wanted to wear makeup, and I love wearing makeup, so, and like I said, I haven't worn makeup in a while, and I haven't really gone out like this in a while, so I'm really excited, and I'm going to go, and I will vlog once I'm at IHOP, or I might vlog, like, in the train station, I'll just show you guys, like, the train, like, the buses here in New York City, um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So I'm at IHOP and I'm the first one here. So I'm waiting for my friends to show up and I'm just so excited to eat. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet, but definitely pancakes. So I'll vlog once I get my food. I actually had to step out because I'm gonna go look for my friend. She's always lost and she's always late. So I'm not really good with directions, but we'll see if I can find her. <laughs> Butter. Mm. It's good for your health. <laughs> I am a tourist. I'm a tourist in my own city, okay? That's that's I'm so empty. So 
So the Museum of Feelings isn't happening because there's a really, really, really long line. I think it'll be like a two or three hour wait and my friend has to go to work later. So it's not happening, but I have a pretty view in the background. So that's the line. It goes all the way around. Aww. We thought it would at least be a 45 minute wait, but it's actually a lot longer than that. So I'm at the mall actually. I came to the mall because my parents are here and they want me to go help them find a Christmas tree. And we're here in Sears. We're gonna go soon. We're just looking at stuff for my younger brother and for my dad as well. So I'll talk to you guys once we're getting our Christmas tree. Christmas tree! I can't do so excited, it smells so good. They're real ones, so this year we're getting a real Christmas tree. We're at Home Depot now because apparently there are better Christmas trees around here. There's a lot of people, but so so good. We found a Christmas tree. Yeah, you just have to go get it fixed. But yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, it's complete. What's that time for? Okay guys, so I'm back home, we got our Christmas tree, and I just need to go out and buy more decorations because we used to have a fake tree and we, all, we would always pack it, but we would always leave the ornaments there so that we won't have to like put everything back the next year. But because we threw that tree out, we forgot that we had all of our ornaments there, so now I need to go buy new ones, and I'm going to go on Pinterest and see what kind of... Um, what kind of color scheme I want for my tree so uh, we'll see what happens and then we're gonna do like like a little bit of like redecorating we're gonna take out some furniture from the living room so that we have a lot more space for the tree because it's actually the first time we've had a, a real tree in a really 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 long time so I'm excited I'm gonna end this vlog here and then I think tomorrow's vlog or yes tomorrow's vlog will be a decorate the tree with me type of vlog and i'll also have a christmas diy video coming soon soon i will hope that i can edit it by monday so i'm excited guys and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye